Hydroponics is a method of planting that uses a nutrient-rich water solution as a base for the plants to grow. In contrast to traditional soil-based planting, hydroponics is the best choice for plant growers because it allows them to regulate different variables according to the plant's needs to yield better growth. Thus, using safe plastics for hydroponics is one of the most important variables that must be considered in a hydroponic system. Advantages of using hydroponics Increased growth rate One of the most rewarding advantages of a hydroponic system is that it yields an increased growth rate and production of plants. Your plants will reach their full development 25% faster than those from traditional soil-based planting. Plus, it produces 30% faster than the other method. Plants that grow in this type of method yield better and faster result because the nutrients found in the water-based solution is enough for plants to grow up rather than expanding root growth below which is the case in soil-based planting. Can be used everywhere. There are some areas wherein their soil is not receptive to plant growth. The hydroponic method is the solution to this problem as it allows people from this area to produce their crops. Plus, it also uses less water than traditional planting. Less pesticide use. The hydroponic method uses a nutrient-rich water solution that eradicates the need for pesticide use. Consequently, this method is environment-friendly and makes the crop safer to eat for consumers. Disadvantages of using hydroponics. Costs more. The hydroponics system will definitely cost more than soil-based planting. This is because it needs a handful of materials. An example is a growing medium, a nutrient-rich water solution, and pumps that add oxygen for the roots and pump nutrients to the grow tray. Time-consuming. If you plan to have a large-scale system, usually it takes a lot of time just for the setup alone. In addition, if you are not well-versed in the field, then, for sure managing the system will consume your time. The pH levels of the water solution must also be monitored on a day-to-day -day basis, for it measures the level of acidity or alkalinity which is essential for plant growth. Great Risks The hydroponic system risks killing your plants if a simple pump failure will not be remedied immediately. This is because the growing medium relies solely on the pumps for their nutrients. There really are advantages and disadvantages involved. Parts of a hydroponic system Number 1 Nutrient Solution One of the most important parts of the system, this solution is easily available in garden shops online and offline. This solution is usually composed of nitrogen, calcium, potassium, magnesium, and other minerals depending on the plants you plan to grow, the type of system you want to use, and your growing medium. Number 2 Growing Medium may or may not be present in a hydroponic system. You can choose rock wool, sand, clay, white gravel, vermiculite, and perlite. Gravel, clay, and sand are cheap and easily available, but they are heavy and don't yield good water circulation as the expense of perlite and vermiculite. Rock wool is the most preferred choice because it's the most affordable yet drains easily. Number 3 Pumps There are two pumps usually found in the system. One is for pumping nutrients to the growing medium and the other is for pumping oxygen to the roots. This is also a very critical component because the failure of any of the two would mean that the plants are not getting the nutrients they need for their growth. Number 4 Light In gardening areas where light is not easily accessible, two types of lights are used for gardening. One of which is the metal halides which use the blue end spectrum for green, leafy vegetables and young plants. The second one is the high-pressure sodium or HPS, which uses the opposite end of the spectrum for flowers and fruits. Using plastic in hydroponics. Plastics are widely used all over the hydroponics system. This increases our risk of exposure to carcinogenic substances which are detrimental to our health. Almost all plastic packages leach or migrates trace amounts of chemicals subject to certain conditions such as heat or foods that are acidic or contain high amounts of fat or salt. What are the safest plastics to use in the hydroponic system? Using safe plastics for hydroponic affects not just the plant growth but most especially the end consumers. There may be harmful chemicals in plastics that will not make them suitable for hydroponics. 
For hydroponics, here are the type of plastics that can be used. High-density polyethylene, or commonly referred to as the number two plastic. This is very safe for hydroponics as they don't spread high amounts of chemicals to the solution inside. This type of plastic is also environment friendly as it can be recycled which makes it a more preferred choice. Polypropylene or plastic number 5 is also considered to be a safe plastic for your hydroponic system. This plastic is known to cause harm during production but is safe for use for the very reason that it only leaks trace amounts of chemicals. But sadly, this type of plastic is not commonly recycled compared to the HDPE. Hydroponics is the modern take on planting with the use of nutrient-rich water solution as a base. It may cost more money and time and poses greater risks. Still, hydroponics is usually preferred because, with appropriate and proper maintenance, it can produce more outcomes at the soonest possible time. Generally, hydroponics is made of safe-to-use plastics which poses a lesser threat to our health. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.